too tight, too loose? Is your grip preventing you from developing good shots? Today, we're going to take a dive into the basic strokes of table tennis, starting with the fundamentals of the shake hands grip. Again, if you find these videos useful uh, and helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you get notifications of any new videos. And uh, please feel free to make a comment. I'll always try and reply. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the shake hands grip. Like the name suggests, it is as if you're shaking hands with someone. And believe me, this next bit, if it doesn't make you laugh, it really should. Because when you're trying to shake hands with yourself, it's really quite pathetic. Anyway, here we go. So that is obviously how you would shake hands with somebody and on the opposite side and other side. Now, you should be giggling. Anyway, so what we want to try and do is pick the bat up and hold it between our thumb and forefinger. Now, this would be considered a neutral grip. So this is good for forehand and backhand. And the grip should be relatively loose. So this is good for service. It's good for top spins, backhands, and lots of other uh, shots, pushes, and the like. Now, there are some people who will have more of a backhand grip. So if I alter the grip so that it's more in line with the index finger and there's a greater gap on this side here um, where if this is back to neutral you'll see there's like less wood showing here so again if I turn that handle so it's more there that's more of a backhand grip uh, again for the forehand people tend to turn the racket so that there's now a greater gap here more wood showing and that would be considered a forehand grip I would still recommend the neutral grip. So as you're looking directly down on it, it should be in that V. Now, there are other videos online um, and if I can, I will find them and link them in the description. Um, but there's a gentleman uh, who suggests leaving uh, a gap here. So there are some people who hold the bat very low down. So, it's the same kind of grip, um, but I think you have to you, you have to grip more with the three fingers when it's lower down. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this. I also wouldn't recommend those people who strangle the, the racket really quite high up. Um, so you're literally having no gap here whatsoever. Um, so nice, nice gap here. So you should be able to sort of fit your thumb in. Um, and then thumb resting, which rests on the cutaway portion of the racket. And then the index finger just runs along the rubber um, on the backhand side. So that's your basic grip. Um, that should suffice for, for a, any kind of shot that you need to play in table tennis. Um, obviously... Um, I'm not proponent of the uh, the um, penhole grip, but that would be something such as that. There are alternative grips, um, which it's hard to show you, but um, I'll leave those for um, actual players who play like that. But for me, I tend to try and have a neutral grip with a bit of a gap and... Uh, that should stand you in good stead for making most of your table tennis shots. The reason for having a bit more of a gap, uh, as explained in the uh, the gentleman's video, which I'll, I will try and link, uh, as I say again, is um, you can actually um, drop the racket head, um, which will give you more contact speed for when you actually increase the, uh, sorry, not increase, uh, when you actually flick or use the wrist. Same on the backhand side, which is where you will use the wrist. So yeah, so that covers the grip. Um, 
We'll move on to more fundamental shots, uh, starting with the forehand and backhand push. Um, and uh, we'll move on to uh, the forehand drive and backhand drive. Thanks for listening. Remember, if you do get something out of these videos, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, click the bell icon so uh, you don't miss a shot. Thanks and see you again soon.